Surrey is, is looking at how can we use the enormous investments that are being made in commercial technologies, particularly for the leisure market and, and industrial market. So the smartphone is perhaps the ultimate application of, of this and take these technologies and export them out into space, if you like, and, and take advantage of their tremendous capabilities to make satellites smaller, cheaper and uh, create new businesses. lots of uh, apps that we ran through a Facebook competition that are running on the spacecraft um, and if they work one of them is uh, Scream in Space um, and that's testing whether or not you can actually physically hear uh, through the vibrations of the microphones and the speakers whether or not we can sense any of that on our, on our actual spacecraft. We have to test because of course when it's in space you can't fix it. So we actually try to make sure that it will work when it, at its coldest temperature, which can be about minus 20. We have to test that it can work at its hottest temperature, which can be about plus 50. So that's a big temperature range. And also we have to check that it will work in a vacuum. So we've got vacuum chambers where we can also heat it up and cool it down. So we can give the spacecraft space-like environments and test them on the ground. Ten years ago, we built our first nano satellite. It was about the size of a beach ball. Now, of course, mobile phones didn't exist then, so the heart and the brain of that satellite were more traditional electronics. But we were using the microelectronics that, that existed in around about the year 2000 to build a very sophisticated small satellite. And that satellite took pictures of the Earth. It chased after another satellite. It took, actually took images of a Russian satellite in orbit, and it had onboard propulsion and onboard GPS. So it was a really very sophisticated. Uh, tiny satellite and it was probably about 10 years ahead of its time. Now SNAP uh, one, that satellite, paved the way. Strand is its successor and a decade later it is taking advantage of the advances in technology to do similar things but at a much smaller scale, so hence using the smartphone as the brain of the satellite. been done before because mobile phone electronics haven't been smart enough up until today. Um, it's incredibly exciting to be on a spacecraft mission yeah. which could be a world first. I mean you don't get that opportunity much if at all so it's really exciting.